Not one, but two fatal shootings in Abilene this weekend. And we have full details of both stories now. We start first with an Abilene man who was shot and killed early Sunday morning by a security officer outside of a hookah lounge. Bravo's hookah lounge was the location of this homicide. It's on North 6th Street, just off Treadway Boulevard. There was an event hosted by a local catering company. The lounge was at full capacity when the crowd outside tried to make their way in, thus leading to security officers pulling out their weapons. Our Mariah Williams tells us what happened after that. Inside Bravo's hookah bar, it was filled to capacity according to the business owner. When shots were fired, injuring and later killing a 32-year-old man, his family later identified as Deshaun Colon. He was literally my best friend in the whole entire world. His sister losing the last piece of family she had. We just recently lost our mom in August. So he was all I had. It was just him and I left. It's just been my brother and my mom my whole entire life. And now it's just me. Moments before shots were fired from the surveillance video I watched, there was a crowd forming here outside of the venue door. Two workers were attempting to get inside and when the door was open, Coleman grabbed the door and held it open and the crowd began to push through. There were three security guards attempting to regain control of both the crowd and the door, but the crowd continued to push through and Coleman was at the front. Coleman was inside the lobby when he was grabbed, trying to regain control of him and detain him. At the moment when he was almost detained, an armed security guard pulled out his weapon and shot at him. Colin said even though the security guard is not in custody, she still wants fair justice. He loved his children, he loved his community, he loved his friends, he loved his family, and I just want them to represent him in the right way. I, I just want it to be done right, and I want it to be done fair, and I want it to be done the way it should be. The security company did not want to comment on the matter. Reporting in Abilene, I'm Mariah Williams, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Mariah. The Abilene Police Department is continuing its investigation.